Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my February favorites and I have say an average amount of products this month and they range across the board. Again, I've included books along with my makeup as skincare, fragrance. Actually, I actually have two fragrances this month, which doesn't often happen. So it was a fairly good month in terms of products. For makeup, I don't have that much because I was suffering from an allergic reaction earlier on, which was absolutely awful on my face. So I'm gonna talk about that briefly in this video, just products that kinda helped me through that, but my skin had never been worse than this past month, so I didn't use makeup during that time. Regardless of my bad month, I did discover some really amazing products and books that I can't wait to talk to you guys about. So if you want to see everything that I've been loving this past month, then just keep watching. The first thing I wanted to talk about and just thank you guys for those who have submitted a testimonial for me for the Sephora squad. I never apply for anything, but Sephora is doing this influencer program where they're having people apply to it to be a part of their team. And this is for Instagram, it's not for YouTube, but I just wanted to thank you all because I know a lot of you follow me also on Instagram. Sending me some of the things you've wrote for me has just honestly, it made my month because I was having such a bad month and that I'm gonna cry. That really picked me up and boosted my spirits. I'm not gonna get emotional because I just had to like stop talking there. You guys just mean so, so much to me. You don't even understand. <laughs> I was gonna start bawling there and I just did my makeup. I can't. If you would like to submit a testimonial for me, I would really appreciate it. I'll leave the link down below for you guys, but I can't talk about it anymore because I'm just so thankful for those who have already done it for me. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time. It just takes two minutes. So if you would like to do that for me, I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Let's dive into the makeup before we ruin what we have on <laughs> right now. I feel like I need to sit higher. Like I need a boost. Let me go get a pillow. I almost ate it there. That's better, I think. You think that's better? I think it's better. One of my number one finds, if not my favorite find this month, is from Lancome. It's their Le Monochromatique Eyes, Lips, and Cheek products. You can use this a multitude of ways. And the formula of this is unlike anything I've ever used. It's so, so creamy and just buttery smooth and pigmented. This is the shade Front to Fair, which happens to be my favorite that I've tried, but I really wanna check out all the other shades. I'm wearing this shade on my cheeks right now and on my lips, and it's just so beautiful. You can wear these colors on your eyes as well, and the formula just blends out so nicely. It gives a beautiful color to the cheeks. It's the perfect amount of pigmentation, easy to blend, easy to work with, I just, I'm obsessed with this formula. So if there's one thing to check out from this favorites video is these, cause I think these are truly a beautiful product, really unique and something I definitely want to dive in more of. But French Affair, I'm gonna be wearing this all summer. This is like the perfect color to me on my lips, on my cheeks. I haven't tried this color on my eyes. It's mostly a cheek product and on my lips, I just think it's so beautiful. This is the only thing I'm wearing is this on my lips. So. I had to mention that first. The next product that I have been loving is the Fenty Beauty Powder. I picked up the shade Butter, and this is so beautiful, lightly used on the face. I don't like this for baking, but I do like this as an all-over setting powder, as well as just lightly dusted underneath my eyes. I think it does a beautiful job with smoothing, which I love that there's so much product in here, and I don't have to use that much. There's almost one ounce of product in here, 28 grams and this is gonna last me forever. I love the formulation of this, how smoothing it is. It's just a beautiful powder for under the eyes or face. I use it for both. I just use it lightly so it doesn't change the color of my skin, but underneath my eyes it will brighten me up a bit depending on how much I use, but I still try and go on the lighter side with this powder. Otherwise, it will be a little too matte for me. I am wearing it underneath my eyes today as well as lightly all over my face, and I just think it's a beautiful powder, definitely worth the money. The only thing is, it has a fairly strong fragrance, not like the Huda Beauty powder, but it, it is definitely there. And I always say it smells like YSL Manifesto, which I absolutely love the smell of, though we don't really need fragrance in our makeup or skincare, but 
it smells really good if you're into that. So love the packaging too. It's just a beautiful product in general and I have been using it so, so much. So I had to mention this. I'm late to the bandwagon for this, but this is the Benefit Roller Lash. And I got this in a PR package with the Benefit Roller Liner, which I also really like, but this mascara, I don't know, there's something about it that just really makes my eyelashes look amazing, especially my lowers, but this is good for both. And it's a rubberized bristle one, which you guys, if you followed me for a while, you know that I typically do not like the rubberized ones, but this is that. I just feel like it makes my lashes look lifted and just really separated and beautiful, especially the lowers. It's been a favorite of mine, so I have been really loving this. I didn't want to open up too many mascaras. I was only going to open up one at a time. And then I got this in the mail and I had to open it to try it out. And it's the Marc Jacobs new primer that goes along with their Noir Mascara. The packaging is stunning. It just, it looks like the Fenty almost, like they would belong together. If Rihanna had a mascara for her line, it would kind of be something like this, wouldn't you think? And I love primers, as you guys know, and this one is really, really good. It adds a ton of volume to your lashes. And I never really got into the Norm Mascara from Marc Jacobs, but it is quite good paired together. I don't even feel like I need falsies with it. It's just a really great, super impactful combination if you're looking for that. So I have been enjoying those and those are new. And that's literally all the makeup that I've been loving this month. And then today I did a little shopping trip at Walmart and I posted it on Instagram stories and I'm trying to get the video up the same day. So I wanted to let you guys know if you follow me there about these products that I just picked up. The new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation and also the Full Wear Concealer. And then I saw these, I hadn't heard anyone talk about these bronzers before, but I picked up two of them. This is the color 200, but it's the City Bronzer from Maybelline. I'm wearing that today, and I think it gives such a beautiful bronze to the skin. I had to mention this right away because I knew as soon as I put it on, I'm like, yep, that's gonna be a favorite. But obviously I wanna see how it wears, and I'll have to, I can't open this right now. <laughs> I'll update you guys in this video on how it wears this evening. I need to drop these. This is the color. And in the packaging, I thought it looked a little bit more neutral and then opening it up, it's definitely a little warmer, if you can tell. But that is what's on my face. And if you're a similar complexion to me, this is a perfect color. Just enough warmth to really bronze up your skin and give you a nice warm glow, but not too warm that it will look orange or anything like that. And it's mostly matte, but it definitely looks a little bit glowy on the skin, but it it's mostly a matte bronzer, but definitely not a flat matte is what I'm saying. So this was a nice find that I found today. And obviously I want to fully test out these products more. I'm just mentioning them that they're on my face, but I'm gonna do a full video on these for you guys because I figure some of you might wanna see it just like I wanted to test these out and see because I've been hearing a lot about them, the Fresh Wear Foundation and the Full Wear Concealer. So I picked up Natural Buff in the foundation and the shade Cashmere in the concealer. I'm wearing those both on my face right now. So if you wanna see a video in full about these, I'm mentioning it now here that that is what's on my face right now. And if you wanna hear my thoughts, full review, wear test, all that kind of stuff, let me know and I'll definitely do that for you guys. So I had to mention that right here because I am wearing those and I know a lot of you like to know what I'm wearing in the videos. One more thing, I almost forgot. I started using this Pixie Spray, their Glow Mist because of Stephanie from Babs Beauty. I was watching her Insta stories and she mentioned how she purchased another one of these because she loves it so much and I hadn't tried it yet. So I started to use this and I love this. It has the perfect spray to it, so soft. Look at that. It just sprays so beautifully on and it makes your skin just glow and melt everything together. It has a little bit of oil in it, argan oil. You shake it up, but it doesn't disturb your makeup and make you have any kind of spots like the Tatcha Mist, which I really like, but it can screw up my makeup sometimes. This oil doesn't interfere with the formulation of my face and it just really melts everything together. It gives you a beautiful glow and it's probably my new favorite drugstore setting spray. It's so, so good. So I'm so happy that I started to use that and she mentioned it on her IG stories. Thank you Steph for that. Then I have two fragrances to mention to you guys. Sometimes it's hard to even find one that I like, but this month I 
found two and I love these. I did a whole video on the KKW Kimoji Hearts fragrances, which I will link in this video for you guys, but this was my favorite one from the new releases that she came out with, the three new hearts. And this is in Wifey, and this smells incredible. It smells so yummy and delicious. It has definitely caramel to it, so it has that sweet side, but it also has a musk to it that makes it such a beautiful, really gorgeous scent. This smells expensive and high-end, Definitely the one that I recommend most out of the hearts. It smells so, so good. So if you like similar scents to me, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. I think Ulta has them now. I think I saw that. So that would be better if they had them so you can actually smell them, but love that scent. And then this one. Oh my goodness. This is from Givenchy and I'm a huge Givenchy fragrance person. The Linter D that they just relaunched in 2018 so good and then Hawk Tour has been a favorite for years. Dahlia Divine, the Eau de Toilette, love. They make probably my favorite fragrances I'd have to say. If I were to pick one company for fragrance it would be Givenchy for me and this is the Live Irresistible Rosy Crush and I love rose and even if you don't like rose I think you would still like this fragrance because I know rose isn't for everyone even though it's like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> it is my favorite rose scent that I have. I have several in my collection, which I do plan on doing an updated perfume collection for you guys. But this is definitely hands down my favorite one. It has a sweetness to it. It's super soft and it's just the perfect amount of rose. Please smell this one. <laughs> it's definitely a Cheryl scent. So if you like the kind of scents I do, I would highly, highly recommend this one. Even if you don't like rose, still you got to check it out. If you like scents like me, just not rose, you still need to smell this one. It's so, so good. And then for skincare, I just wanted to give a shout out to my Run Evercom line again because I went through it this month. You guys don't even know. It was absolutely horrible. And this saved me. It saved my skin. It made me feel comfortable and just repaired everything and kept a barrier on my skin while it was healing. I can't say enough good things about these. I have mentioned these both separately in videos in the past. But I'm mentioning them now because honestly, I couldn't live without these products from Run. It is their Evercom Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I've gone through multiples of this and as well as the Evercom Overnight Balm, multiples. These are so, so good. Both I use for different things. This is like an instant make my skin feel better right away type of deal. And this is an overnight kind of lock everything in if I'm super dry and flaky. These work really well at just keeping my skin balanced, recovering. And if you have overreactive skin and you have not checked out this line, you must. I love everything in the line, but these two are holy grail items. 100% recommend if you have sensitive or overreactive skin. Any kind of sensitivity like that, look into the line because you will not be disappointed by these products. They're just so fantastic for us sensitive skin, reactive skin types. Honestly, it saved me. So I had to mention it again. I know I mentioned it before on my channel, but my whole month was based on my skin pretty much overreacting and I had to give a mention to those. So good. And since I was out of commission for makeup, I was able to read a lot, which is always nice. So I have two books by the same author, Kristen Hanna. She wrote The Nightingale and Night Road, which I read both this past month. Actually finished Nightingale end of January, but I filmed the video before I was able to mention that in the video, but it was such a good read. Read Nightingale first. So, so good. And then Night Road, I just finished. This is the cover of Night Road. I brought back Nightingale already because I do get these from the library, but those were two of my favorite books this month. Five star reads for sure. I am on Goodreads and I'll leave my name down below in case you guys wanna friend each other so we can follow each other what books we're reading. Both of those books made me ball my eyes out. So if you don't want to cry, don't read those books. I fell in love with the author and I'm starting to go through everything that she's ever written because I just love her writing style and how she tells a story is just incredible. She is so, so good. So if you're looking for two really good books, emotional books, then I would recommend those two. That is everything for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites this month. I had so many great products that I couldn't wait to share with you. Fragrances, the Lancome product, 
my books. I really wanted you guys to check out. I know a lot of you love reading like me, but those were the best of the best this month, but I'm always looking for more recommendations, whether it be makeup, skincare, fragrance, books, anything that you guys wanna let me know, please let me know in the comment section below and I would love to check out your favorites. Thank you again to all of you who are taking the time to leave me testimonials. I don't get to read them, but some of you have sent what you wrote for me, which is so nice and it really helped me get through this month because it has been quite bad for me <laughs> in multiple ways, but you guys really helped me out this month and I just want to thank you for all your support really you're my number one and you're always my favorite but this month you showed me so much love and i just want to thank you guys so so much from the bottom of my heart you mean more to me than you'll ever know and before i start crying again we'll just leave it there <laughs> i have a parent teacher interview i gotta get to in the next half hour so i've gotta go and freshen up and get to that but thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video and there's the dog cue to leave